I'm excited that we've got a season three, first and foremost, to tell you the truth. It's sort of been really lovely to come back here and, you know, we've got, we've, you know, retained all our crew and it's starting to feel really very much like a family. Um, I don't know, I think that, I just am excited to see where the guys take it because they sort of just keep exceeding my expectations. So I hope everybody feels the same way. It's, it's kind of, there's a nice energy, I think, around it. So at the end of last season, we, we finally did establish over there, so the alternate universe. And this season, we've been um, so far kind of flipping back and forth from our world to their world, um, which I think is so cool in the television show. But you are, they're all interconnected because you still have our Olivia stuck on that side and a couple of other characters that we know from this world. We have the alternate um, Charlie Francis who is over there too and a new character Lincoln Lee. So they're kind of essentially doing what our team does over there but you're, f you're following, <laughs> I make it sound more complicated than it is, but you're following our Olivia who, um, who's des who I think the audience is going to be kind of barracking for and hoping that she sort of gets it together and realizes who she is and where she is and where she belongs which I think inevitably will happen but the um the concept of of, ha of having the concept of alternating worlds you know I think is so exciting I don't know I don't know when that's been done and and it's um I'm just hoping that the audience um likes it because it's a it's a real blast to play and I also think that the possibilities are endless. Since the show started I think that it really, I just think it's got something for everyone, it really doesn't sit in any particular genre, it kind of, it's just got a little bit for everyone. At the end of the season when Olivia and Walter and the other Cortex fan kids come to the other side to find and and essentially save Peter. She, um, she, Olivia finds him, and um, which I thought was quite a sweet scene. I think it's the most open you've ever seen her. She never says anything, and she says to him point blank, "You know, I've tried to think of of so many reasons why you should come back, but at the end of the day, you have to because you belong with me," which is her declaration of love. And she kisses him, and he kisses her back, and agrees, and comes back to the other side but <laughs> Olivia doesn't. So um, you then have alternate Olivia back on the other side and in the scene that, that, that the two Olivias had together, the alternate Olivia goes, are you guys together? Mm, is that it? So she knows that they're together. It's tough to define them both because I've got one who thinks she's the other and the other one pretending to be the other. So neither of them are just I d it's not like I just have these two characters that I can play with, so I'm constantly trying to go, well, what do they think of the other, or what do they think of each other? So I have my own internal process, but I can't even begin to articulate it. <laughs> There's this weapon that we saw a, a, um, a sketch of. Um, before we went to the other side, Peter had vanished, and we didn't know what was going on, and all of a sudden, um, Walter clicks that he's trying to find something at the same time one of the observers leaves a piece of paper on a bar stool for Olivia to find, which is this sketch of this device that has Peter basically um, powering it. Um, when we went over at the end of the last season, we realized that Waltonet over there has the device and is looking and asks Peter to look at it. And Peter realizes that he's somehow connected to this device. So then we come back to the other side and I'm pretty sure that Olivia's directive from Waltonet is um, to get all the pieces of the device to Peter. How she does that is sort of like the fun part. The alternate Olivia just thinks that they're kind of together. I mean, she's got files and notes and briefs on all the cases and all the different other, you know, like factual stuff, but, you know, there's no notes on Olivia's feelings for Peter or what has happened between them all. So it's kind of been interesting and kind of weird and because, yeah, Olivia's just thinks it's on. <laughs> like she's never known any different. <laughs>